it's AES time again and I'm on the radial booth with Peter Janis and he's going to show me a little QE device for people who don't have a little QE device already. <laughs> That's right. Hello, how are you? Nice to be here with the sexy dudes from Sound on Sound uh, all the way from England and visiting us uh, from you know the other side. We're a little Canadian company and we're here at Los Angeles to show you a bunch of new toys. This is the Studio Q which is designed for those that have small studios and are looking to talk to the band when the band is out there making noise. So very simply, you plug the output of your console in here. From here, the Studio Q into your headphone system, your headphone distribution system. The audio engineer has a built-in microphone or the ability to connect a producer microphone. You touch the button and of course it allows you to speak to the band through their headphones. You can adjust the dim level so that when you push the button, the program level goes down. Here's your program level, there's your, your dim level. So it kind of does all those fun things for you to make it really easy to talk to the band. We've also added a few other cool features. You've got a foot switch. Uh, you connect one of these guys here, a little momentary foot switch to it. And this way, if you're a producer and you just want to use your foot to activate the talk back, you can do that. You can have it at the producer desk to allow that to happen. So whichever works best for you. Um, we also are adding a little contact closure output that will hook up to some optional little LEDs so that you can actually flash the band if they're you know, out there playing with their marshals and they're way too loud. You can actually you know, get them going a little bit. So Studio Q, um, shipping now. Uh, very cool little product, nice and compact, very affordable. Great for that studio setup. How affordable, please? Well, we're looking at around $300 retail, so I would expect to see a street price in the $250, $260 range, so very affordable. And of course, you don't need a console to use it if you've got an audio interface on your door with several outputs. That's the key. So many people have very compact setups. They've got their, their computer, they've got a digital audio workstation of sorts, they've got their A to D and D to A converters. All you do is just take a couple outputs, the stereo out, and away you go. So very, very easy to interface within a system and very affordable instead of buying a big mixing console. Excellent. Very good. Thanks very much, Peter.